Hey, uh, I know I said that I would upload a video soon uh, after I got my tripod. There was a bit of a complication in that. First, I went to visit my friend in Illinois for a week and a half, and then um, I tore my whole house apart. Well, not my whole apart. All my storage areas apart. And I um, could not find my original battery, battery case anywhere. My extended battery and the case that goes with that did not fit in the holder for uh, my tripod, the part that holds the camera in place. Um, right now I'm actually doing this without a battery back. I figured actually it holds on well enough just using the phone holder from the tripod itself as a battery cover um, that keeps it pretty secure so that's cool um also i've already fallen a bit behind on school so that's distracting as well um makes it hard to spend time doing videos um everything's going pretty well for me in terms of covid uh, i'm already quite the introvert so this is basically business as usual and in some ways it's actually better because I don't have to do anything <laughs> um yeah like my classes are not all, all online which works well because I wasn't getting my butt to campus anyway executive dysfunction um and anxiety issues and all that fun stuff um yeah, I'm not good at it. This I'm lazy. Um, although of course now I'm brain farting. Yeah. Uh, so I have at least one housemate who is immunocompromised. So have to be really careful not to get her sick. Been washing my hands a lot more than I usually do. They are drying out and do not like me. Um. Since I live at a group home, we are on isolation, so, you know, parents can't visit or whatever. Um, if we need groceries, uh, management, you know, the manager lets upper management know, and then upper management does the grocery shopping and brings it to the house. Um, it's just kind of frustrating. We're running quite low on groceries, and you can't really ask someone else was doing all the grocery shopping to you know do a full size grocery trip so um it's kind of hard since I tend to buy or to make lots of low spoon meals lots of quesadillas for example and then slowly running out of all the things that I default to and then having to actually put more energy into cooking like you know, even mac and cheese is usually more effort than I usually put into putting food in my face. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm not feeling lonely. The, the one downside is um, when I came back from Illinois, my friend, uh, well, I'm not going to say where I live, but I don't live in Illinois. <laughs> anyway, my friend drove me halfway and then my dad met met me. Uh, my friend had already gone. Sorry about that. Staff was uh, calling, so I had to pause the video. Um, so anyway, uh, my dad, rather than just driving the full length in one day, he decided to have us stay at a Airbnb uh, halfway, and um, as in where my friend drove me to. And uh, we hung out there, watched Star Trek Picard and uh, Good Omens. He's seen all of Good Omens. I'm still catching up because I don't have Amazon Prime or don't have Prime Video. Um, and so the next day he drove me the rest of the way home. And the only really weird thing was like as he left, not being able to hug him goodbye. That was kind of weird for me. Um. I gave him a long distance hug. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's a basic update. 
Uh, now that I have this tripod, I do have a very specific video in mind. I am going to be doing a video on uh, text-to-speech um, software because I have some opinions on that. Um, some programs are very convenient. Others are not so much. It'll also be kind of nice now because after meeting with someone from the disability center where I go to school. I learned some new things about one of the programs I use that makes it less frustrating. So I'm going to call that a video and upload this sans editing because like I said, I'm lazy. Bye.